Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video and this one we're in Claude Sonnet 3.5 and I am going to show you a few things you may not know you can do with Sonnet 3.5 and their artifact window. Additionally, I am going to show you how you can do some amazing things using an artifact window in chat LLM. Not a lot of people know this, but in Claude Sonnet 3.5, you'll see here we've got this 2D survival game that I cooked up. But look at this. I also did it with GPT-4 Omni. And the reason why I got to do this is because I use chat LLM. So we can do it in all of the large language models as opposed to Claude. So I'm going to show you a few cool things. And then I'm going to show you how to do it using the other LLMs, which is exclusive to chat LLM. Let's get going. All right, for those of you that are following along real quickly here, all you have to do is go to abacus.ai, links in the description below, and then just click on either chat LLM here up at the top or hover over products and click on chat LLM. When you do that, you're going to see here that it is $10 per user billed monthly. I mentioned that because a single license for chat GPT, for example, is 20 bucks a month. So this is half the price and you get access to all of the state of the art large language models. Once you've gone ahead and done that, click in and get started. Also, if you're really following along with me, you can go to Claude.ai and try out their artifact window as well. I'll put a link in the description below and you can see the comparisons. Although in my personal opinion, the chat LLM one is better because it works with all of them. So there you go. Those are the two links. Now let's get started. All right, here we go. So let's start off with chat LLM. Let's start here. And up at the top here, you're gonna see it says GPT-4.0. So it currently defaults to the 4 Omni version. And that's a great way to start. So I'm gonna leave that there. However, when I click that arrow, you will notice that you have access to all of these other options. So we've got Claude Sonnet, Llama 3.1, 405B. We've even got the new O1 Mini, the new O1 Preview, which we'll look at in a second here and our own custom chatbots made with AI engineer and search LLM, which is their own search functionality. There's a ton of stuff there and I've got a ton of videos covering it, but let's stick with 4.0 and then watch this. Here's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and copy in a prompt and here it is. That's, I can even take away that number. And here it is, create a simple playable 2D survival game using React and scalable vector graphics. The game's goal is to achieve the highest score possible by surviving as long as you can on a 10 by 10 grid based board. Players control a character that moves one cell at a time in four directions using arrow keys or on-screen buttons. And we want to avoid the three to five AI controlled opponents, etc. Now this is a very detailed prompt and with Abacus AI and in particular their chat LLM product here, if I hit enter, Watch what happens here. This is completely unique to them. This is going to load the artifact window just like it does in Claude or in Claude Sonnet 3.5. So here it is. You can see here it's coming up with a step-by-step -step plan. So it does the chain of thought thinking and then it sets up the React project here. And now that it's coding and it's going ahead and cooking up the implementation and the code, it's about to fire up the artifact window. It'll just take a quick second here once it's gone ahead and figured out that it needs to shoot it up. And then here we go, there it is. The 2D survival game is there. It's in the artifact window and it's even running. And I bet you if I start hitting the arrow keys like I'm doing here, I'm moving around the board and I'm trying to avoid these little red, little demons or whatever the heck they are. And there we go, I went and crashed into the thing, whatever. Look at this here. Now, if I go to Claude, I can do the same thing with Sonnet 3.5 and you'll see it says right here, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, watch this. I'll put the same prompt in. I'll get rid of that little one at the beginning there. I'll hit enter. It's going to go ahead and create the same thing. And this is in 3.5 Sonnet. So here we go. This is the first big thing you can do with chat LLM. You can't do with any of its competitors is we built this with the artifact window in for Omni. And this one here is building it in Sonnet and it's using the same style. So this is really, really super cool. I really love the way Claude does it. Don't get me wrong, they've done a great job, but I also like to have options. And if I go into chat LLM, I have options. Let's go ahead and try it with another LLM. Let's look at a different prompt and do a quick comparison. All right, welcome back. So we're back in chat LLM and look at this one here. I've already done it, I've ran it here. It says, create a React-based pixel art creator component with customizable canvas sizes. And I gave it three sizes and has drawing, erasing, fill tools, 
undo redo capabilities, export feature for high quality PNG files. And it's also gonna have some UI UX elements, clear layout tools, color selection, and a color palette, etc. I'll put a link in the, in the description, I will put the actual prompt used there if you want to recreate this. But you'll see here, I ran it, but look at this here. I selected Gemini 1.5 Pro, and it created a pixel art creator for me. So if I click on one of these little buttons here, you'll see here, I can make some changes here. Let's go with 16 by 16. Now I can go ahead and I can select draw, erase, fill. I can change the color. So if I want to draw in red, let's say, look at this. I'm just drawing in here. If I want to switch it to 32 by 32, yeah, there I go. I'm having some fun. Very cool stuff. This is just a quick example, something you may not have known you can do. But look at this. I'm doing it in chat LLM. I'm not using Claude. If I go to Claude, here's the exact same prompt. I'm going to hit enter on this. This is also going to fire up an artifact window. And let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, import React. There we go. It's looking good. So this is the same type of thing but again guys the reason why i'm showing this to you is because you can do very cool things with claude with other llms using chat llm here and it's just it's just wild times while this loads up here i also want to show you real quickly here that you can get the code from this so you'll see as i scroll down here the code is here but you can also click on preview and then click on code and then just hit copy copy code part of me and there you go you've got it you can just copy it into your little IDE and then look at this even with Claude it didn't even work a hundred percent because it's asking for an unsupported library or icon detected so that's okay you can always fine-tune that in your prompt but I mean really we we just did exactly what we wanted it to do inside chat LLM using Gemini 1.5 Pro as opposed to Claude Sonnet last thing I want to show you is if you sticks want to stick with Claude Sonnet 3.5 and I get that that makes perfect sense you can just select it from the drop down window right here and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the the prompt in actually that's the code so I'm going to go ahead and delete that but if I want to put that prompt in I could just go back up here grab this prompt just like that copy it put it into the prompt here in chat LLM hit enter and it's going to go ahead and cook it up in Claude Sonnet 3.5, just like you'd get on the Claude website. But again, it's going to open up the uh, artifact window, but this one's going to open up the chat LLM artifact window. And like I said earlier, I tend to prefer it over the Claude one. I think they're both great, but I just like the way the uh, chat LLM one works. So there we go. It fires it up. And look at that. We're going to go ahead and we can go ahead and click on the code over here, or we can click on click on preview pardon me so there we go guys these are just some examples of what you can do with chat llm and claude those are two really good examples i've got a whole bunch more that i'm going to put in the description so take a look for those copy paste them give it a try thanks for watching